welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well sorry for the bumpiness right now i am in the car i wanted to start this vlog when i was in the apartment but i have had the weirdest morning i feel like so many weird things have happened this morning i'm not even going to go into it but just one episode after another like my head is a little bit blown anyway i'm in the car now i'm with erin we are actually going to be going car shopping which is really really exciting and i know some of you are going to be sitting there saying you've not even passed your test yet correct i've not passed my test not gonna lie to you guys my test is in a couple of days and i was thinking this morning whether i actually wanted to tell you guys that or not but i'm gonna put this video out after that test so by the time you're watching this i will have had my driving test who knows whether, I, whether i'll have passed or failed whether i fail or pass i'm still gonna tell you because i feel like it's a very normal thing to have to go through like your driving test i've already done it once i failed horrendously it was so so bad and yeah i'm taking it again on the 19th at 1 40 so I don't know what's gonna happen. I feel kind of confident about it, but at the same time, I feel like anything can happen on a driving test and anything could go wrong. But either way, we're gonna go car shopping today and get my car sort of like ordered because there's a few things to this potential car that I'm getting that I might wanna change that might take a little while. So even if I have to redo another driving test, then at least I will have a car almost ready for me. So it's a really, really exciting day. I have been thinking for a while now about what car I would love to get. Obviously, this is gonna be my first ever car. so. I can't be getting anything too crazy like the car that I really 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 wanted to get was a g-wagon but obviously to get that as your first car is a little bit ridiculous obviously it's a huge huge 4x4 I mean the car I'm going to look at today is, is it a 4x4 it is a 4x4 yeah um but I think a g-wagon is just taking it a little bit too far like I'm extra but that is like taking extraness to a whole nother level we're just going under a tunnel now um so yeah place your bets now below what car you think I'm going to look at today. I think it's kind of obvious. It's along the lines of like a four by four. I actually forgot to mention as well that I did have a driving lesson this morning and I wanted to vlog before my driving lesson, but every single driving lesson I've had this week has been at 8 a.m. in the morning. And to some of you guys, you might be thinking 8 a.m. 8 a.m. isn't even early. Um, no, 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 no. 8 a.m. for me, that's the middle of the night. That's literally the middle of the night. And I don't even know how I managed to wake myself up for the lessons and don't crash. We're just meeting Fran now to, are you leaving your car here then? Yeah. Uh, we're just meeting Fran now because she's coming down to Milton Keynes with us. We're just in boots. I had a few things that I left. I thought she was laughing at me then. Um, I had a few things that I left behind. So we're just in boots now, um, having a little shop. I think I've told you guys this before, but I did used to work in boots. So whenever I come back here, it does always make me laugh. I used to be the person behind the counter. I'm just walking through the little town of Wilmslow in Cheshire. I actually love this town. Uh, Tommy and I did actually look at a house here to buy. This is where that actual house was where we put the offer in um, and it all didn't go through. But um, yeah, it's nice around here. It's literally torrential range now. Why have I still got my mask on? <laughs> it is literally torrential range now for two weeks straight. Like I'm not even exaggerating. So here we are. We're ready and raring to go. A little day trip out. Hello, Dave. Hey. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Happy Ready? new car day. Oh, this is great vibes, isn't it? Okay. That's cool. Sorry. Great. Is this you, Mark? <gasps> oh. So this is the Range Rover Evoque that I'm looking at today. It's an urban Range Rover, so it basically means that it's had like a body kit put on it. So slightly more things. Is that how you explain it? Like slightly more things added onto the front and stuff. I'm gonna have the calipers um, changed to red. So it's gonna have like the red little bit on the inside. So it will look something like this one here. There's so many unreal cars in here. That one in the corner, that's the Lamborghini Urus. That is honestly unreal. That's gonna be maybe the next car one day. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be my first ever car. And I literally can't believe it. Like I actually cannot believe this is gonna be me sitting in here driving this car. Like it's actually the weirdest feeling ever. So even little things like the sidestep has been added. This doesn't actually come on a normal Evoque. Um, so little things like that is what Urban do to the car. So these handles actually disappear. So when you like drive the car, they sort of go in and, and they lay flat. Yeah, yeah, you can do covered. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh, Although those ones probably wouldn't fit in there. No. It's a bit big for the car, but yeah, yeah. we can do that, not a problem. Do you know, look right on this car with red ones on it? Which it depends what colour. Do you want to change the colour of the outside? I don't right? know. I don't know. I like black, but I just don't know if I'd want it like matte black or. That's probably the most popular. Yeah, jump in. Oh my god. But at the moment, you just do not know how to work that, do you? No. <laughs> 
I'm driving a Toyota, I, what is it called? Auris. Auris is it? hybrid at the moment. <laughs> if he's terrified, I won't drive it. <laughs> It's big enough to feel safe, but not too big to sort of yeah. like be yeah. such a I thing. Yeah, I think what, what we didn't want is for her to have a car that was like too big. Yeah. Straight away she's like, oh, what a jeep, I'm like, that's fine. But that's so high. For a few scuffs on the bumpers. Yeah. <laughs> it works. <laughs> if you guessed a Range Rover, <laughs> then well done, you got it right. Um, I'm currently at Urban Automotive in Milton Keynes, sat in one of the new Evoke. So obviously there's an old style Evoke and then there's a new style Evoke now with like the disappearing handles. I guess they're not that new now. I guess they've probably been around for quite some time. But I'm going to have a few things done to it. Like I'm not sure what colour I'm going to have it wrapped. It is currently like just a nice glossy black, but I might have it wrapped matte black. But then I don't know if that's going to look too boyish. <laughs> I don't want to look like a boy racer, but I want to get the... Um, um, I think they're called cal calipers, calipers, calipers. They're like the things inside the wheel. I want them to be red. The wheels on this car are, they are unreal. I'm literally obsessed with them. It's just absolutely beautiful. This is me currently just sat in my car. Fran's out there chatting to, he's called Simon. He works for Urban Automotive and is helping me sort out the car. Um, but yeah, I'm literally so excited. I'm going to get out now and give you a proper look. just bought my first car it's done and Fran is now driving it back to Manchester woohoo and I've said to her if she crashes it then she has to buy me a new g-wagon um so <laughs> it's going back to Manchester now and I'm gonna have it for when I get home obviously not be able to drive it until I pass my test but exciting we are now back in the car <laughs> not my car another car on the way to central London now I actually forgot to tell you this this morning but Maura has her event tonight for her ego collection so we are actually heading to there now I need to do my makeup in the car because we ran over a little bit we didn't actually plan to get the car today and to drive away with it but obviously I fell in love with it when I saw it oh and um scary um yeah I fell in love with the car and it just made more sense to just get it today and just to take it home with us then it's there um for me ready and waiting can't believe i just bought my first car it's like not even sunk in yet i've texted like basically every single contact in my phone to just tell them i've bought my first car um but yeah my parents are really happy for me and stuff so it's just really really nice oh God, i literally like stick of the dump it's not very safe, is it? no if you touch my water stand then we can't be friends well can you grab me a bottle I can grab you a bottle. I'm pretty sure the whole way through this vlog, I've literally looked like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. I was looking through some of the footage from earlier of me getting my car and I forgot to say that I didn't have any time that day to put an ounce of makeup on my face. I didn't even have time to brush my brows through. So my brows are literally like that the whole way through the start of this video, which is really, really nice. Um, but hi guys, it's a couple of days later now and my driving test is tomorrow. I'm just putting it out there. My driving test is tomorrow. I feel physically sick. Maura made a really nice bolognese tonight with garlic bread and I literally, my stomach is tied into knots and I was on the phone to Tommy and he was like, you're not going to pass if you feel like this, like if you if you have this really bad anxiety over your test already, it's not even tomorrow yet, you already feel so nervous, like you're not going to pass, why am I literally touching up my boob, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I need to just stop stressing because the more I stress, the less I have a chance of passing. Even if I don't pass, like it is what it is. I do believe so wholeheartedly that everything happens for a reason. And I feel like if I don't pass tomorrow, it's just not meant to be tomorrow. And I need a little bit more practice before I'm safe to be on the roads. And that's the most important thing. Like I just want to be safe. I don't want to be a harm to other people. Like that's the last thing I want. So um, yeah, if I'm ready tomorrow, I'll pass. And if I'm not ready, I won't pass. And that's all I'm going to think about. So I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, the next clip I show you, I'm going to have had my result because I'm not going to focus on vlogging tomorrow. Like I just literally need to eat banana. I have brain food. I'm going to have like four bananas because I've got told that's good brain energy food. My brain is clearly not functioning because that didn't even make any sense. Brain energy food. Um, so yeah, I will check in tomorrow. Next time I speak to you, I will have my driving results. I'm sure I probably would have put my Instagram so you guys have already seen. But anyway, I'm going to go now. I need to head to bed. I need to tidy up the kitchen before I do that. Um, I love you all. Wish me luck. And I will see you tomorrow. So guys, my test is now over. And I can actually say that I passed. Yeah, I passed my driving test. I literally 
cannot believe it. We're both, well, she's not in shock because she had faith in me. <laughs> but, but I still I, cried. You Some still reason. cried. <laughs> and I actually did shed a tear in the car because I was just so shocked. I was like, I literally cannot believe it. I just didn't think for a million years that I was actually going to pass today. I had confidence in my driving, but I just thought something was going to go wrong. And there were so many times where I was like, oh, I broke the speed limit. I just, you know, you just overthink things. Um, but I passed and I literally only think, I don't know how many minors I got. Well, how do I find out how many minors I got? Mm. I think he's going to send my test report to the people. Oh, is that what they do? Yeah, but I think he said only like maybe like one or two. He literally wrote nothing down, you know, right? And they're like ticking on their little note, um, notepad to say the things you make do wrong with. He literally did nothing. So I just actually cannot believe it. And yeah, I've had some time to process it now, hence why I'm not like, ah, but I was jumping up and down in that car park like no tomorrow. And Maura was so nervous because she couldn't tell straight away if I'd passed or not. I actually filmed some footage before of my family reacting and like Maura reacting and stuff to me passing. So I will insert that now. But yeah, I'm literally so, so, so happy. We're just gonna go for some lunch now. Hey, We've got good news to share. <laughs> Can you believe it? I knew you would. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why, I just knew you would. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I would. Oh my god, I'm so proud. I can't believe it. I literally can't oh. believe it. Maura's crying. Sorry, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> She's like my proud mum. What's wrong with me? Uber, Uber. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what we want to see. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much did you bribe them? I didn't bribe them. <laughs> oh, well done. Yeah. Any, any issues? No, it was literally fine. one or two minors easy. it wasn't easy like the hardest bit was he made me copy my signature from my from my driving um license he was like can you just copy the signature i was like i can't what? copy that signature i did it four years yeah, ago be ages ago so um but yeah it was fine well getting your car now it's all insurance sorted yeah it's all sorted and everything can't believe can it drive today? well yeah but i'm not going to because my car's getting the red calipers put on the wheel so it's not ready oh, yet okay. Anyway, babe, I'm going to go, but I love you. All right, well done again. I love you. I messaged you after the This Pause. is a best friend's reaction right here. <laughs> this Don't is, honestly, tears. No. Tears because your best mate passed out of driving. No, so. do you know what happened, right? So I pulled in here beside, beside it, and then I was like, should we done now? Yeah. And then I spotted the car and I was like, oh God. And then you were, you got out of the car and I seen your, ins your ins the lesson lady. Yeah. And, and all I could see was you from behind. So mm. all I could see was this like, and I was going, oh, oh no, <laughs> oh no, oh no. And then whatever way your face turned, I could see you were smiling. I was like, surely she won't be smiling. She'd be crying if she did. <laughs> I would have been crying, yeah. Good morning, my loves. I feel like this whole video has been about my driving and I was actually editing it last night. <laughs> It really has just literally been all about cars, driving, driving tests, and I'm sorry if it's been like a little bit boring. I promise this will become like normality to me soon and I will stop talking about it. Um, I did go out for my first drive last night in the car. Steph, one of my best friends, came with me. She actually helped me go on the motorway and it was actually fine. Like, it's just... Again, just a pinch me moment. I still can't believe it's happening. I still can't believe I'm driving. Um, I'm about to head out now to the gym. This is like literally filling up my heart with just happiness that I can drive myself to the gym like the amount of ubers I've had to get to the gym which is literally around the corner but it's all like on country lane so I can't I can't walk there and it was such a hassle to get there but I feel like my fitness is about to go from here to like literally here because I'm able to drive myself to the gym as many times as I want in a week in a day or whatever so I am on cloud a thousand right now I was actually meant to stay in London last night but I decided to come home I have quite a lot of content and work stuff to do um, this is all my stuff here but the apartment's actually 
actually super, super tidy. Nice hoover lines. Oh, a lot of people are asking about the coffee stains. So basically the other day, you'll have seen that I spoke about a delivery driver passing me a bag of coffees and the bag like splitting in half and all the coffees dropping onto this part of the carpet here. Um, as you can see, it is mainly out. We've given it at least like four goes of trying to get it out properly. Um, and we've even had like a professional carpet cleaner come and I think that's the best we're gonna get. I actually treated myself to a personal number plate last night as well. I, I ordered one <laughs> um, on my phone. So that's hopefully coming in the next few days. This is gonna be me now all the time, just waving my car keys around. Like, yeah, I'm just, just heading to the gym. Just, you know, just off to the gym in my, in my car. <laughs> I'm gonna be that annoying person. Like in my Instagram pictures now, just like, you know, using them as an accessory. Have any of you seen that TikTok guy? I think his name's Ky Kyron Hamilton and he does like all the impressions of teachers. I spend hours crying with laughter at his videos and especially when he gets the keys and the teachers are like waving their keys around. Well, that's gonna be me with my car keys now. Ooh. She's back from the gym. Well, she's not back, still in the gym car park, but I managed to get myself to the gym. Let me put myself, oh no, that doesn't work. How am I gonna do this? Because Maura's been staying with me for the last three weeks, I feel like I've literally not trained in so long because Maura does not like going to the gym. Um, so I've just kind of like not really been going. So it felt good, it felt good to go back today. I didn't really do the best session, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just proud that I managed to drive here, get myself here, get into a space, and literally next to no other cars. Like, I'm literally so embarrassed. I parked so far away from my gym. <laughs> There's me being like, yeah, I parked the car. Like, I've done really well. I'm sorry. There's no one here. There's no cars around me, not even on this side either. Hilarious. Listen, I'm just proud that I actually managed to get here. No one was hurt in the process. No one tooted their horn at me. Um, so yeah, all, all positive. I am back home in one piece. Don't ask me how. Um, there was five paps waiting outside the gym, um, trying to take pictures of me pulling out. <laughs> and it really threw me off. And I literally was like, Rum, like revving, because they were all stood in the road. I don't know what they expect me to do. Like, basically trying to dive through the windows to get a picture of me, like desperately concentrating, trying to pull out onto this country road. Not good. Guys, I'm gonna actually bring this video to a close now. I am going back to London tomorrow. Um, and then I have my birthday week, which I'm sure I'll bring you lots of fun vlogs for, from. From. If you're like me and you're struggling to pass your test or you feel like it's never going to happen for you or you feel like you're just never going to drive and you're always going to have to like rely on lifts and Ubers and everything and taxis, like you can do it. Like if I can do it, you can do it. Don't give up. It's taken me 17, 18, 19, 20. It's taken me like nearly five years to pass my test. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you stuck around to the end, then I love you so much. Fingers crossed my next video will be coming really, really soon and hopefully I will see you all there. Love you guys. Bye.